One of the things that collectors look for when they're purchasing a watch is whether the case is original to the movement. The more original the watch is, typically the more collectible and thus more valuable the watch is. Um, over the years, there have been many uh, situations where movements have been installed in different cases. And whenever that happens and the originality is removed, the collectability of the watch then decreases. So one of the things that we want to do is when we're purchasing a watch, try to determine whether the case is original to the movement. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't purchase those watches, but we should be aware of what we are purchasing. So today I have a, a few examples that we are going to go over, and I'm going to show you a few things that you can look for to try to make that determination. So first up, we've got a Waltham, and this is an 18 size, and um, so far it looks pretty good. Uh, the, the dial and the hands and the case, everything looks pretty original. However, if we remove the back, whenever there is an, a movement installed into a case, there are these case screws. And each model of the movement typically has case screws in different locations. So what will happen is when these are tightened down, they will make small indentions on the rim of the case. So what we want to look for is, are there any other score marks from screws that would be from other movements? So we can see right, right there on this case is a screw mark. And what that tells me is that this movement is not original to this case. The movement is from around 1901. In the case, if we look at the mark here, this case was either done by the Murr uh, watch company or an early Philadelphia uh, watch case company, which would have been um, around the time that this movement was manufactured. So without that extra screw mark there, we might determine that the, the case is original because the case and the movement were manufactured around the same time. However, with that extra screw mark, this uh, we can tell that that was not original. So the next watch that we have here is a more egregious example of this. So this was a watch made by the Keystone Watch Company and it's got a, uh, a celluloid dial that's why it is uh, yellowed and there's the movement. So th this particular watch would have been manufactured around 1887. But we can tell right off the bat that this case, the style of the pendant and the, the bow, um, this is a style that is, uh, it indicates that the case is probably from the 1910s instead of the 1880s. And so I can already tell you that this, this movement is not original to the case. And we can verify that by, again, here's an extra screw mark right there along the case rim. And so this is not in the original case, even though it is a nice case, but not original to the movement. So the question becomes, how can we determine that a case is original to the movement without a doubt and the short answer is we really can't unless we have a certificate card from the watch company that has the movement number right there and the case number on there usually these watches are in the original boxes and they come with some sort of certificate and it records the movement number and the case number. This is the only way that you can guarantee 100% without a doubt, unless this has been forged, that the watch and the case uh, were originally paired. Other than that, the only thing that we can do is reasonably guess. So here's another Waltham.
So this one, this one dates to 1888. And the case is a phase monarch. And the case, uh, these started to be sold in the late 80s. Uh, late 80s, early 90s. So we know that the case and the movement are around the same era. And then we'll do the evaluation of the extra screw marks. And you look around the rim, and I do not see any screw marks, extra screw marks. Now if we remove the movement from this case, there would be a screw mark here, and there would be a screw mark there from these screws that were tightened down. So, what's interesting about this watch is that it appears that the case is original to the movement, but it is a hunting movement, meaning that this, the stem is located at the three o'clock position. So these typically would have been originally sold in a hunting case with a cover. Um, this one is unique in the fact that it's an open face case uh, with a hunting movement. Um, there are examples of these. I would say that this is more, more likely to be original just because it doesn't show any indication that um, it had another movement in there. Um, but a lot of people will just completely write this off uh, because most of these were placed in a hunting case. But even though the majority of them were, doesn't mean that all of them were. So I'd still have a little bit of skepticism on this one, but everything else looks good. And so I think that that one would uh, be original. So the next watch that we're going to take a look at is a six size Elgin watch in a gold filled case. And what I've learned is that the smaller the case or the more unusual the size of the watch, if it is still cased, the more likely it was that the case is still original to the movement. Not all the time, but most of the time. Let me get this open. There we go. So this one, the movement was manufactured around 1901. And the phase Monarch case here, no, Montauk case, sorry. The phase Montauk case says 20 years. And so because it's got the 20 year guarantee, we know that that dates probably after 1898 or so. So the movement is from 1901. The case is definitely after 19 or 1898 or so. And if we look around the rim for extra screw marks, we don't find any in this case. So more than likely this is original, but again, without the certificate card stating as such. And th this particular watch would have also been um, likely cased at a local jeweler or a wholesaler. And um, so it wouldn't have come with our, our certificate. So it becomes more and more difficult to guarantee that it was original, but everything looks good on this one. And I would, I would say that that's probably original to the movement. The next watch we have is a Hamilton 920. And this is one that would have been factory cased. So these were delivered from the factory, already cased. Get this open. So these are uh, another watch that if they are cased still, usually it's the original, but what becomes problematic with these is that if they have been swapped with another movement, it becomes more and more difficult because the movements that would be installed in this case as a replacement would probably be uh, the same model. So they would have the same screw marks and you wouldn't be able to tell that the, uh, the movement's been changed. But if we look at this one, this is a 920. It was manufactured around 1923, and it's in a factory case. We can see the case is marked Hamilton Watch Company, 
and again I wouldn't I wouldn't really ex in, expect any s extra screw marks but we can tell around the rim that there are none and so I would say that this watch is in its original case so extra screw marks is one thing to look for to determine that it's not original another thing that you can look for is if the watch is just completely um, inappropriate for the era of the case I've got two right here I've got an Illinois this is a grade 706 from 1920 we got an Elgin and this one is from around 1897 so in both of these we can look for extra screw marks and we don't see any so what we might prematurely determine is that these are original however the case styles are much much later than what these movements are so these cases are both uh, either they're they're basically chrome plated base metal cases and these styles were popular especially in the 1940s and show you so this is a catalog from 1942 and if we look right here on this page we will see that you can get um, reconditioned watches guaranteed for first-class performance you can get Elgin Waltham Illinois Hamilton and you'll see that the, they come in these cases so this is a chromium case um, there's all sorts of different cases. Most of these are by the Star Watch Case Company or the Keystone Watch Case Company. And you can see that this style right there is very close to what this one is. So we know for, without a shadow of a doubt, that both of these are not original to the case. So to review, we've got watches that have extra screw marks and when you see the extra screw marks around the rim more times than not that means that the, the watch movement is not original to that case then you have examples where there are no screw marks and the watch movement fits the era which means that the case is reasonably around the same time time frame as the estimated production of the movement and then you have watches like this where the movement was manufactured well before the style of this case so hopefully that helps clarify and give you some ideas on what to look for whenever you're uh, shopping for watches and you're looking to purchase one so I hope that helps if uh, you want to see more videos like this please like the video and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.